Well, hi there. This is a Philips T760 computer control from 1988. And I always thought that this was the first ever computer control machine from Philips. However, it appears 1984 got there first. Ooh. Yeah, I was under the mistaken um, assumption that this was the first ever Philips computer control machine. But no, it was not. This is, oh God, it's so heavy. This is such a heavy backing bit. Oh, well, there's some heft to that, I'll tell you. I really can't imagine dragging, dragging that round my three bed semi back in 88. It is a very, very heavy cleaner. This machine, appeared on eBay the other week. And I was looking at it, I was going, I had no idea that that existed. I really did not know. What we have in this box here is actually, I believe, the first ever Philips computer control cylinder vacuum cleaner. And I am really excited to see this. I have never seen one, didn't know they made it, must be incredibly rare, incredibly rare, because as I say, never seen one before. We didn't know they they made them, but we have one. Um, yeah, can you up on eBay? I was very excited, very excited to see it. So let's get it out of the box. Let's have a look and see what we've got here. Oh, look at this classic Phillips. Look at this classic Phillipsness. Look, look at that. That is just so Phillips. That is like, wow, amazing. With the pit fit, compression pit fit tools. Plastic rods on this one. I wonder if if the T760 was slightly more uh, luxurious and came with metal rods. I have a feeling it probably did, but this one, we've got a plastic tool kit. Oh, mm, not as good, but... If it's all there, then great. Oh, I hope this is in one piece. It's not particularly well packed. There's no packaging to speak of, really. There's the other rod, two plastic rods. And the hose. This will be useful. This will be very useful to, for, to use on the other Philips machines. I can never find my tools, ever. This is the problem with collecting vacuum cleaners and specifically cylinder vacuum cleaners. You can never find the flipping hose or the tools. It's so difficult. Uh, we seem to have a bit of electrical tape here done in a, well, they've used gray, so that's something, I suppose. So we might have to have a look at that, uh, fix that up. Again, classic, again, Philip, a genuine, original Phillips bent in there with that slider, which is stuck. <sighs> Can I open that? Oh, I can open it. Oh, it's all gunked up inside. I think this has seen some use. So I'm guessing this is around 84, 85, something like that, because it's the previous generation of Philips machine to what I just showed you. <laughs> Here it is. Oh my goodness, that's very heavy too. Oh, I'm gonna put it over this side so you can see it better in the light. This is the Philips P99 computer control look at that what an absolute gem that is oh my god i am so pleased to have that that is quite something now i've got a theory actually um on these phillips cleaners on the ratings plate there's a number written and on this machine that number is 719 okay and on the t7 t760 it's, uh, hang on, I need to remind myself, 837. So, if we make a leap of faith and say that Philips is sort of using the same kind of dating scheme as, say, Electrolux are, we could say that this is the 19th week of 1987 and the 760 Let's bring it up here so we can see them together. The two Philips computer control cylinder vacuum cleaners. 
uh, we could say that this is the 37th week of 1988. So there's about a year between them. And I think this style machine, it appeared in approximately 83, because I've got an earlier machine upstairs. I think it's a P76. It's the green uh, swivel top version. Um, the one, the machine that predates this. That'd be really cool actually to do a video with all three of them in. So it'd be the three generations. Um, and that is definitely a 70s cleaner. Uh, and I think this, this style, probably about 83. And I think the later style came out about 88. So this, if it's a 1987 machine, it does obviously predate the T760. And I'm going to guess, you guys might know, you guys might know better than me, I'm going to guess this is about 1984-ish, something around that, that kind of time when they first came out. So let's check this machine out. This is a, yeah, it's, it says it's a P99, but the model number is actually HR6299. And what an absolute beauty it is. These were such great vacuum cleaners. They really were, the quality of them is just fantastic. I mean, the fact that it's still, still in one piece after all these years, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> oh, dusty. Don't know if it works yet, but we, we will find out shortly. I'm just so over the moon to have it. Move this box out of the way. Um, I've got a garage full of boxes now because all these machines keep coming in. It's just no space to keep anything. It is utterly ridiculous. Uh, so what have we got here? Um, if we look on the control panel, we can see we have uh, three buttons. We've got min, automatic and max. Uh, it says automatic here, very proudly, computer control underneath. We have a little red light here, which I would assume is for bag full, although there's no lettering or printing or anything to say what that light is for. It could be overheat or maybe, maybe something else, but yeah. I would assume that's more than likely bag full. Uh, we have a cable rewind switch here, pedal rather, which works nicely. And we have a power pedal. And we have the uh, squeezy, squeezy fingers. Squeeze that together and it opens up the front. And these, oh God, oh no. <laughs> oh, we're not gonna be using this with a paper bag. Unfortunately, I take this out, it would be better to show you if I take this out. So this style of machine, it's of the generation where there was a cloth bag in it. Um, and you can see there, there's a paper bag fitted inside, but unfortunately the plastic has snapped off. So there should be two of these arms, hopefully you can, you can see that there. there's two of these arms where the very odd bag, oh God, oh, that's a bit manky kind of rests on it. So you sort of close that like that. So you close that, close that piece of plastic down. There should be two of those. And the paper bag sort of sits across the top like that. There's no cardboard on these, these bags. I forget what bags they are. Oslo maybe? Is it Oslo? Now what were the Phillips bags? Here we go. Here we go. Here's a question for you. Paris, Oslo, Berlin, Amsterdam, and what was the fifth one? What was the fifth? London. London, that's it. I think those were the five. No. It was no Madrid. Just thinking of the, the European, European countries, the capitals. They named their dust bags after the capital cities of uh, numerous European countries, which is really cool. I think that's so clever. And I think that's the five. There may have been a sixth. If you can remember what, what they all are, please comment them below in the comment section because I can do five of them. Let's see if you can beat my five. And I have, I just have a feeling that these, this may have been Oslo. Um, not entirely sure, but I think it might have been. But anyway, this is, this is, useless we can't use it uh, with a paper bag because as I say this arm has broken off so it's going to be cloth bag only but we can probably do something with that it might be to put a paper bag sort of around it maybe um, 
if we wash this bag and then kind of jerry-rig possibly a HEPA flow bag into it, it might be doable. Because on this here, look, that, that's all you get on the side, uh, on the inside of the, of the machine's face, just this moulding here with the hole in. Um, and it kind of crushes it. So this crushes into the paper bag uh, to make the seal, which is an odd way of doing it. But yeah, it works perfectly fine if your paper bag's all right. <laughs> so in this case, it's not, not, not your paper bag, your, your cloth bag's all right. So let's pop this back inside. Um, is there a filter in there? No, so there's no pre-motor filter. I guess the cloth dust bag is, is acting as the pre-motor filter. So let's pop him back in there like that. We'll sort something out, don't worry about it. We can create something, we have the power. So let's close that like that. Now can I get this panel off? Oh, yep, yeah, let's get the panel off. So this is the exhaust filter here, and it's a micro filter. Um, this is probably going to be a bit dirty. Oh, it's not too bad, actually. That's not too bad. I've seen a lot worse than that. It's got a bit of carbon dust in it. And see, this is one of the reasons why these machines are so quiet. This is foam. And the entire inside of the vacuum cleaner is covered in this foam. And it acts as a sound insulation barrier. And that's why these Philips cleaners were so quiet. Really clever, uh, but also you know, really good quality. Not, not these machines were not just thrown together. They were properly designed and made. They did such a good job. Uh, really, really good machines. So I suppose we should see if it works, and we'll see if the computer works as well. That's the acid test, isn't it? So let's plug this bad boy in and see what happens. These have got really weird motors. I kind of want it to not work particularly well because I want to show you the motor inside these. They're very odd. They're very odd. They're kind of backwards, but not backwards. It's, yeah, really strange how, how they're made. Um, let's just check to make sure we've got no damage on the cleaner itself. I don't think so. Uh, the case is slightly wonky here. Um, the top is not meeting the bottom particularly well. I think it's probably been hit on the side. But apart from that, it's really good. So shall we switch it on? I should do it like this really, shouldn't I? If I do it like this, so, so you guys can see it, you can see the panel then, like so. So let's um, <laughs> cross your fingers. <laughs> let's press the power pedal. Here we go. Ooh. We've got some lights. Hopefully you can see that. Let's press max. Automatic. It's not doing much. Oh, there we go. There's this minimum. Ah, right. So what that's telling us. Yeah. So if these bottom two lights are on, then we're, we're, in, we're in minimum. If the top two lights are on, we're in maximum. And then if these four lights are on, we're in automatic. It might look better. If you put the hose in, just put the hose in, see what happens. Uh, no. Oh, yeah, 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 that's good. It's not, it's not working particularly well at the moment because um, it's not sealing. So like, it's meant to seal up. This section is meant to go against this paper dust bag um, and then seal the whole shebang but it's not working particularly well at the moment and also I've just realized that um, the edge here you, you may not be able to see it but the edge here has been pushed down and we've got two ridges so we're gonna have to get some heat on that and actually reform the edge of this uh, uh, cloth bag so yeah it's probably not going to work particularly well until that's done and until we've sorted out some method of sealing this up properly. But that's fine, we can do it. It's not a big problem. Um, let's see if we can get a slightly better seal. That is locked in, but yeah, it's not, it's not great. Hopefully I can show you the automatic now with the hose in place. Let me turn it around that way. Hopefully you can see that okay. So let's turn the machine back on. Oh, it's gone very quiet now. 
Oh, do you, maybe you have to press a button, actually. Oh, okay. So you think, yeah, that's, that's, I'm not sure if that's right. You've got to press a button to put it into the mode. So let's press auto. So that looks right. And now, yeah. So it's working. Yeah, okay. I wonder what would happen if I just put this on the carpet. Will it do anything? I don't think it will. No, no, it can't sense it. Because of the air leak around the back here. It can't sense. It's just, it's not right. That's not enough power. So yeah, we've got something amiss there that we need to sort out. But it works, which is fantastic. That's really cool. Yeah, so this, this cleaner is rated at uh, 1,150 watts maximum. Um, and that is nowhere near what I would expect from uh, an 1150 watt motor with twin fans. That it's just, it's nowhere near. So that issue with the bag is a real problem. I, I'm just thinking, I wonder, can we, can we turn it around possibly? Would it be better if it went this way? I don't know if you can see there, but there's these, these two sort of ridges where um, where it's been, it's basically been squashed in and um, it's just not, it's not sealing properly. We can, we can sort it out, it's fine, it's fine. I just like to, I just like to play. I just like to play. I, again, I don't think that's gonna make any difference. Turn it on. See, that's interesting, isn't it? Because when you turn it on like that, all of the lights light up. And then when you press your selection, oh, no. Oh, okay. And now it's not doing anything. That's really weird, isn't it? Why is that now not doing anything? Let's turn it off. And now it's come on, and I think it's in auto mode. Is that in auto mode? Yeah. Oh, actually, that's slightly better. With the... Yeah, with the bag around that way, if you turn it round, it's slightly better. There's, the, there's a better seal. However, I can hear the... There, there is an air leak. Yeah, it's not right. Okay. Yeah, we need to do some work to it. That's fine. Um, I think also the hose is a bit worn, the machine end hose is a bit worn, so I think there's some air leaking out there as well. But on the whole, I've got to say, I'm really pleased with that. To have this machine is fantastic. Uh, yeah, what what a beast as well. It's, oh, it's amazing, look at it. It's just so cool. I think what we might do is take it apart and give it a service inside because we need to sort out the body because the body is not um, it's not quite right here at this point. So it would kind of make sense to take it apart. We need to sort out that cloth bag. We need to come up with some kind of method around that. I don't really want to use it with just a cloth bag. That's not that's not ideal. So we can probably pepper flow it 
in some way. I, maybe if, if, if we cut a pneumatic Henry bag and just kind of splay it out over the top, possibly, of that cloth bag, that, that might work. Or put the cloth bag in the heifer bag. But uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll sort it out. We'll have a look. And I think we need to try and do a little bit of a service to these electronics because I don't think that's quite right. I don't think, let's see what it does now. Turn it on. Okay, so it's come up with all the lights, look. Press the button. Ah, it worked that time. Okay, so it's slightly intermittent there. It's not quite right, but yeah, on the whole, the motor sounds fantastic. It's really, it's running beautifully, actually. I would never expect it to sound that good. Having said that, I suppose, they are such good quality machines. It's of no real surprise uh, if you compare it to the. Well, what would you what what would you compare it to in eighty seven? I suppose it would be the Sensatronic. Um, the this didn't come with a power head, I don't think. So it's probably Sensatronic System Thirty, which was uh, remote control. That was remote control. So, mm, but it did have power sensing. And then maybe the Electrolux 2060 or the 2040, along those lines, like the, the more luxury end of the cylinder vacuum cleaner market. But yeah, I'm really pleased with that. I really am. It wasn't a great deal of money either. I think it was about £60. So, you know, that's a very reasonable price to pay for such a rare machine. Just pop the cable back in. But yeah, there we go. There we go. Very pleased with the P99. That's that's awesome. So yeah, uh, again, some more work that needs to be done. We can get this looking really nice. Let's bring the T760 back up. Oh my oh, flipping neck. That is so heavy. Oh, put that prop in there so we can see them together. So we'll. We'll end the video with uh, the two Philips computer control machines. There we go. Hope you enjoyed that un unboxing. We'll definitely see this machine again in the future. Uh, we're going to get it really nice. This, this is going to be absolutely perfect. So yeah, look out for that. That would be a future video. But until next time, you guys take care. Don't forget to do the usual commenting, subscribing and liking. See if you can name all those bags. Don't look it up on Google, don't cheat. See what you can do. Um, and I will see you soon. You take care, bye.